Well, my thoughts on urban Indians are real Indians. Well, of course we are. We're more than just beads and feathers. We are professional people. We live in communities. We're a part of the community social and economic infrastructure. But we're here because of forced relocation from decades past. Uh, there was a government program in the 1950s to relocate Indians off of reservations and in rural communities to move them to the city so they would become more self-sufficient. But what often happened is they were dumped into these cities. They were given a bus ticket, 50 bucks, and then they had to fend for themselves. From that sprung urban Indian centers to help out Indian people. But they became more charity organization and social service deliveries. But from that came the enduring culture of our tribal heritage. And we developed organizations to maintain and celebrate our culture, to share it with each other, and to have a sense of something to draw toward. And from that has grown an urban Indian community that is proud of its culture and heritage, but lives in the city because that's where the jobs are. And after two or three generations, they're used to that. Kansas City's urban Indian community is much like that, but they are no less proud of their identity. So yes, urban Indians are real Indians too.